All right, guys, today I got my replacement drone. Since I crashed the other one at the ocean, uh, got my new replacement, and I'll show you guys what I got. And by the way, it's raining here in Florida, nonstop, thundering. So, not a good time to go fishing. All right, and this is the one I got. The DJI Mini, the DJI Mini 2, awesome little drone. The other drone I had it for for six years, and it was not that smart. Uh, I think it was with the DJI Standard 3. It wasn't a very smart drone uh, for that year, and we're talking about almost six years old. That's very old uh, for a drone. Every year there's new technologies on the drone. All right, and what I did, I got the uh, fly mower combo. Nice little bag, man, look at this, so small. My other one, the bag was so big, and look at this. This is it, very small. Looks glamorous, look at that, awesome. The other one was a backpack you put, the two straps was too big. This is just like a men purse. Very stylish, I like it. All right, look at this puppy. It's so small, it fits in the palm of my hand. Look at that, very small. And it can handle strong winds. It is so tiny, it is awesome. All right, let's open it up here like this. It's DJI makes so many little straps. Okay, here we go. Let's open up the legs, so it goes back. That's it. And look at this, how small this is. Even with the propellers in place, very small, very tiny. Get this here and you put it right in here. So this one comes with one battery already in it. Only 249 grams. This is the lightest drone uh, the DJI makes, I believe. It has two sensors in the bottom. That's the only two sensors it has. And it looks like the batteries are completely depleted because it's not even indicating that they're fully charged or not. Right here with this button. The only thing I need to do is connect the USB. Right here. And connect it to the boat. The good thing is that as I'm flying the drone, I can pop the batteries back into the charger and they can be fully charged. Other way of charging the drone will be right here. I put a diaper on my drone, hold on. It's right here. This is the battery, and this is gonna charge your battery. But if you have two batteries, and you need to charge the battery, you won't because you're using the second battery to fly the drone. So if you have the other extra battery, you won't be able to charge it because you need the drone. That's why it comes in handy to get this charger here. See right now, I press the button and it tells you that it has some type of charge on the battery already. So this is awesome because I can just connect this right there on the USB, drive the boat. By the time I reach the destination, my batteries are fully charged and they don't consume a lot of power. Like the other batteries, they did consume a lot of power. So, so this is very convenient. And there's a connection here that you can charge your phone with. So if you're running out of battery, you can charge your phone with this battery supply in here only 249 grams it weighs like a banana or an apple really really tiny and another thing is that this is very quiet the propellers are so small because they don't need a lot of thrust to pick up a heavy drone uh it doesn't make a lot of noise now it is not recommended to fly in close quarters like this but i'm gonna give it a try Low point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Take off. All right, it's working. Look at that. Now you cannot put your head under the drone because the sensor is going to raise it up.
Look at that, how quiet it is. All right, awesome. All right, it's not designed to be flown inside of a crooked pilot house. So I did that to show you how stable this drone is. It stays right there. Uh, the older drone, it was hovering from side to side, even having GPS, it was not accurate. It was going side to side. It could not stay stable. This drone is amazing because I could have it flying inside my pilot house. So that is awesome. Not recommended though. Don't do it. Don't try this at your pilot house. Um, it is very dangerous because the propellers are spinning, but I'm a professional. But it's so awesome. It stayed right here. Did not move from here. That is awesome. And it has an awesome view. It has 4K resolution. I'm very impressed with the portability of this drone, how small it is, how light it is, and how accurate and it's so quiet. The DJI Thunder 3 is all technology. Uh, it's not very accurate. As a matter of fact, if you do have one of those, try one of these little ones. You are going to be amazed. I will place the link in the description below of this one that I got. It is an awesome piece of equipment. Love it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And now I got my new drone. And when I'm out there in the Bahamas, I'll make some nice footage uh, for you guys so you guys can see the area view where I'm at alright guys and if you like this new addition to my channel of my drone please give it a thumbs up thank you for watching and always fly safe Woo! that's lightning it's raining here only 200 and 49 grams. That's feather light, man. Feather light. I think a pigeon is 